Welcome to I Had No Idea. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at a specific encounter I had on Malinovka just yesterday, where we had to face multiple enemies at the same time. So, in this video, I want to highlight a couple of things that made me achieve an 11,000 combined score, and I think you can get the same result if you are careful about your positioning, your awareness, and a couple of little tricks that I want to show you. One of them being shooting at the enemies you cannot actually see and getting them out of the game. Let's go! Welcome to World of Tanks in 4K. Let me know in the comments if you can still read it very well on your resolution because I'm quite curious how do you see the videos I record, but I digress it straight away. This is not about 277, even though it is a good tank. At the time of recording of this game, I've played about 75 games in the 277 and I loved every single one of them. The tank is very reliable, very mobile and quite easy to play. Um, with the setup you can see at the bottom with the hardening, uh, rammer and vert stabs, the gun is accurate on the move and accurate when fully aimed as well because it has a 0.33 accuracy with my crew, honestly, not a heavy gun handling. It almost feels like a medium tank and it's going to uh, come in handy in this encounter as well. It has a small cupola on, I believe, the left side, but it is not an easy cupola to hit, so we are going to take advantage of that. It doesn't have a great gun depression, which is going to cause a little bit of trouble uh, for us fighting on the hill, but you are going to see how you can use a vehicle like this on defending of the hill, because as you can see, we only have STB1 going on the hill, and I already know that I am not going to commit. They have 452K, 705, and uh, already I can see there's a light tank, there's a medium tank there, there's already too many enemies straight from the get-go. So as you can see, I'm just spending my time uh, blind shooting the uh, light tank. Uh, I've just noticed that the ammunition is not showing, must be a bug replay, but don't worry. Uh, I'm currently exploiting my high explosives, so I'm shooting all the high explosives into the blind, uh, light tank bush, uh, but that is just because I don't want to commit to this flank yet. Now, let me pause the video here. Do you see there are a couple of dips in here? So STB is at the top dip and currently almost dead because he went too far too soon, and most of all, he went alone. Don't take the hill alone because you're going to see my position later on where I also struggle because of this. There are two dips here. The top dip is if you want to fight the enemies that are on top of the hill, and the dip that I'm taking is for the defensive position which allows me to have support from behind. Because what this STB doesn't realize is that when he's fighting them over there, nobody else can support him. Where I am here, I can get support because the enemies have to expose them themselves to people who are going to be shooting um, from the forest. Like the, I have, look at the minimap. Who do I have? I have the TVP on the ridge line. He can have some shots if he's careful. I have FV uh, covering my back if somebody goes on to, towards the uh, red line, like the 430U right here. And I have Centurion Action X that is currently uh, thinking about falling back. STB1 uh, luckily fell back and is still alive. It's going to come in handy. And um, what this FV is doing is quite reckless. His vehicle is not suitable for that play because we are sitting at a lower position and the enemies are shooting down on us. So tanks like the 430U can overmatch, uh, not overmatch, can penetrate uh, his roof with heat without any problems. And he can also penetrate me quite easily. Now, I spotted the, I didn't spot the Progetto 65 uh, who just shot me, but it's obvious to me where he is, but it is not that obvious because the bush is wide so i'm shooting towards the left because this it's this is where, where he shot me from exactly but there is a little trick that i use here because as you can see he's already lost quite a lot of hit points and the gun handling shows uh, how great it is when you return fire to the enemies you know when you have the indicator uh, that highlights project the gun uh, which highlights uh, where have you been shot from you have to use it uh, from the arcade view. In the sniper mode, when your tank is uh, at an angle, because I'm not uh, on the flat ground, 
it's not going to point directly where you've been shot from. So when I get shot by the uh, 430U um, in a moment, I'm going to take a look at where exactly did he shoot me from. See, he shot me and I align myself straight into his position because my tank was facing almost flat. If I was at an angle more than I was uh, right now, I'd have to zoom out and take a look at a third person view to align myself correctly. You will have this situation quite a lot in Prohorovka where the ground is not very even and you're trying to uh, find out where you're be being shot from. You have to align yourself with the um, damage indicator. By the way, take a look at this Rambo. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, my friend. What happens is uh, on uh, Prohorovka most likely, when your tank is uh, going up the hill and you're looking towards the side, your screen is tilted. So you're not going to have a direct, uh, cor correct indication of where you've been shot from. So zoom out into the, uh, out of the sniper view and then find out where you've been shot from. What I'm doing here is I'm keeping them, that's very unlucky, I'm keeping the enemies um, spotted for the support I have. TVP is going to do an amazing job supporting me, but unfortunately this is not looking very well because that TVP is my only support. But as I said, I have 1000 damage and 2000 assistance so far, and I've mentioned 11k, right? Well, stay tuned because this battle is far from over. What do I have? I have two artilleries, I spotted the light tank, misplayed by me by, because I shouldn't have turned my turret, I spotted the projector, I spotted the entire advance, so what you see me do here is I fall back, in ignoring the 430U in front of me, I am the spotter here. So I'm using my position here to my entire team advantage. Uh, Leopard 1, if the enemies overextend themselves, can also support, support me from the base. So right now what you see me do here is I use the you know, FV as cover from the 430U. I notice that the other heavy tank uh, is now dropping down and I keep driving forwards and backwards because there's two artilleries and I'm facing a very peculiar situation because what you see here is I am the only tank out of my team that is currently spotted. What does that mean? I'm going to get all the focus, all of it. Both artilleries are going to try and shoot me because I am the only tank they can see. As you can see, every 20 seconds I get shot by artillery and, and I'm currently down to one shot uh, to majority of the tanks, but I'm still alive. And as I was rumbling about, we already have uh, six and a half K. But we do not give up. Sure, the artilleries are annoying, but I do my best to just be difficult. Now, what you see me do here is I take an advance because I know that the heavy moved and my heat penetration is 340. I can go through most of the front of the 430U. So he did not expect that. <laughs> that was a gamble, but it was a, uh, a worthy one. So I've decided to go up the hill, take a different approach, have a better position at shooting uh, at the 705A. He did not notice me until I shot. Now he's <laughs> he lost another 400 from me and another 740 from the TVP. Another art artillery shell flies by and I just need this guy out of the game. Unlucky, non-penetrating non hit, but we are still in the game. This is quite winnable. And honestly, this is the kind of a game down to 100 hit points. This is the kind of game that makes me, keeps me uh, coming back because the game is quite toxic uh, very often, but I just keep coming back for more because of those games. Another artillery, artillery shell flies by and now it's 452k uh, against me. I know I have the TVTP support. I just need to shoot this guy twice. My armor profile is a little better than his. I can easily penetrate him uh, with my 340 hit and he is not going to have such an easy time for me. So I know that his reload uh, is a little longer than mine. TVP keeps shooting one, two. I look behind one artillery, second artillery. Unfortunately, the conqueror aimed better and got the best of me. But what a game that was. Just keeping yourself in a good spot can turn a lost cause into a closed game. If you notice how most streamers play is they are quite conservative to the point where it almost feels boring sometimes. After all, when you think about it, I went to a single position and I stayed there 
the entire battle. But we were fighting for our life the entire time and it was exciting. Now, let me take you to the grass so we can talk some more. So unfortunately a defeat, but that was quite possible uh, to win still if I had been more, more careful with my hit points. I took an unnecessary hit to the side of my turret from the 430 and then I should have been more careful with the RT, but I have no complaints. That was an exciting game and the reason why I keep coming back to World of Tanks because every now and then you get one of those games and they are really, really fun. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the 277 is definitely a capable vehicle. Uh, we had quite a good session in it and honestly I do see myself uh, playing it more often. I think it's quite reliable and uh, it's fun because you get you can get to the places you want to get to and you're usually uh, first. And what's the most fun about it? It's that the weak spot it has on top is not very large and it's quite difficult to hit. So even though you don't have a great gun depression, you can still have cooldown positions because you are just you feel invulnerable. Sure, if you face uh, some good players, they, can, they are going to be able to snipe that weak spot, but if you wiggle enough, you can get away with a lot of things. As for the ammunition loadout, I do carry three high explosives for light tanks. They work uh, a few AP shells uh, for, you know, just ordinary blind shots, and majority is heat because 340 millimeters of penetration is insane. For example, you can shoot six TTP under the gun if it's cooled down. You don't have to wait, wait uh, aim for the weak spot. You just can shoot him in the turret. Uh, same goes for uh, E100. You can penetrate E100 with much uh, greater ease with those shells. You don't have to be careful. And you can penetrate most of the upper plates of tanks like um, the Czechoslovakian heavies. You can just penetrate their upper plates, so it's quite an easy shot for you. And you add to this the incredible accuracy the vehicle has and it overall creates a very comfortable tank to play. You get to the places you want to be fast and then you do a lot of damage because your DPM is 3100. What is there not to like? Tell me in the comments, do you play 277? I personally don't play it a lot as you can see, but I do like it and I think I'm going to challenge myself for a 3 mark because why not? If it's fun, then this is the reason why we play the game, right? I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did like this one, you'll probably like one of these two as well. And if you've already seen them all, well, stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, I'll see you on the battlefield.